Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today sit a while for we are playing some more franchise hockey manager 6 as part of the Ottawa Senators. So today is December 1st 2001 and I did a thing. Um, I'm not gonna say what just yet. Uh, it's gonna come up in the news. Um, <clears throat> I can already tell you it's a trade proposal that I've made. I don't make a whole lot of them, but from time to time I like to try to make a trade. I haven't been overly successful with that so far, but um, I think that it would solve a couple problems if I were to uh, pull this through. So, we'll see what happens here. So, we've been doing alright. I mean, maybe not 2000, 2001, alright. But we're still third in the East. So, we're not first like we were most of the previous season. Uh, but we are third in the East. Uh, behind New Jersey and Tampa Bay. So, for one, finally, that division with Tampa Bay, Carolina, and all of those teams finally is uh, starting to have good teams because Carolina is in the mix as well. They're fourth. So uh, that's pretty much where we are at as far as the team goes. Uh, the Boston Bruins uh, are in town tonight, and they are not doing good at all. They are 7, 14, and 4, and they are 13th in the East. Now remember... Still not over it. They traded Ray Bork. So let's take a look at their team. All right. So they do have an injury here. Don Sweeney is now the captain. He's not going to be playing. Uh, yeah, not a lot of star power as far as, you know, the star players, the stars for uh, player evaluation goes. Uh, two, three star players, uh, Nabokov and Glenn Murray. So, yeah, it's probably why it's kind of tough in Boston. It's not Their team is not terrible on paper, but it's not great. Brent Gretzky is still playing. Wow. Yep. Sure don't have the same talent as Wayne, but... Uh, all right, so let's get going here. We're going to go ahead and uh, see if we can win. So we are playing at home to start the month of December. Then we're going to hit the road a little bit. All right, so playing the Bruins at home. Uh, Yevgeny Nabokov is going to be in net for Boston. We're going with Ryan Metter. Oh, and we won 7-2, to two, so pretty good uh, game to start the month here. We obliterated them on shots, 45-16. to 16. Alexi Yashin was the first star of that game. He had four assists. Pavel Datsyuk was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Daniel Alfredson was the third star with two goals and one assist. Uh, 12,833 people in attendance. Uh, so Pavel Datsyuk opened the scoring 30 sec 36 seconds into the first period, assisted by Alfredson and Yashin. And then the Bruins tied it up, but we scored twice more. Avlat from Harvardson and Selinger, and Bill Guerin on the power play from Yashin and Datsyuk. It was 3-1 to one for the Sens after one. Then Alan McCauley scored on the power play 44 seconds into the second period, made it 3-2, gave Boston some hope. But Bill Guerin scored his second of the game from Salo and Cullen, and then Daniel Alfredson from Yashin. It was 5-2 after two. Then Mike Selinger from Zdeno Shara and Martin Avlat, and Daniel Alfredson from Pavel Datsyuk and Alexi Yashin. 7-2 is our final score. Passes on point for Alexi Yashin. I know I was there. It was a. Uh, it was pretty cool. All right, there was no stopping Rob Blake, who had three goals and an assist for four points against Nashville. So Rob Blake, thirty-one years old, still a four-star player. Ah, Rod Brydon is very happy with my work. I went nine and two last month.
All right, and now we are hitting the road, and we are stopping in Colorado to play against the Avalanche, which, just before shooting the video, I read a funny story about how Larry Walker, who you know, used to be a baseball player that played for Montreal, uh, Colorado, and St. Louis, uh, was the emergency goaltender in Colorado in a game against Vegas, I think, uh, this Sunday. So he was the emergency goaltender he's like 52 or something <laughs> so the, the uh, david Ayers that uh, you know got that win for carolina has started a trend now everybody wants uh, a piece of the of the fame all right so brendan shannon has achieved 400 goals uh, he had two goals against minnesota Jay Pandolfo in Vancouver is suspended. He's going to miss five games. All right. All right, and I am going to go here. All right, so I made an offer to the, to the Devils because they had Patrick Eliash on, uh, on the training block. And I was wondering what to do with Jonu and Dyke, so I was thinking of trading Jonu and Dyke with something else uh, for Patrick Eliash. But uh, Jonu and Dyke and the right to Brendan Baczynski, who is a three star potential in my universe right now, uh, that's not good enough. So we're going to go ahead and tinker with that a little bit. How about if I offer... Hmm. How is Vermit the 5 star potential and Spezza the 3 star potential? Yeah, I really liked Vermit, but maybe I... Maybe I add him to the... All right, so I changed my offer. They're going to think about it. Usually when they think about it, that means that they're going to reject it. If they don't want that, I'll I'll learn to live without Patrick Eliash. Uh, what I am hoping is if I do make the trade that I'm going to have so many left-wingers and everything that they're going to move either Joe Thornton or Pavel Datsyuk back to center to replace Joe Nuendijk. Uh Because the I have both of those players. They're both natural centers, but they're playing them on the wing. So... That's kind of what I'm hoping for. I don't know that it's going to happen. Uh, that's new. That's new, right? That thing here. It says next national team tournament. I don't remember seeing that ever again. Now, I mean, I'm, I'm nearing 80 hours uh, <laughs> on this uh, let's play so that would be really 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 sad if that was there the entire time and I didn't know this but I'm pretty sure it wasn't there before so there was a an update recently uh, so that might have been part of that but anyway so we're playing in Colorado uh, Colorado is 13 11 and 3 and they did they did beat us at home earlier 5 to 2 so let's get our revenge we're sending Mike Dunham in net. They are going with Craig Billington. And it's a tie. 3-3. Three, three. I guess I'll take it. I'm... Ties don't make me too upset unless I really need the points. So we outshot them. 48-33. Joe Sakic was the first star of the game. He had a hat-trick. He scored all the goals for Colorado. Uh, Yeshin was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Milan Heyduk was the third star with two assists. Uh, we took a 2 nothing lead into the first. Yeshin scored, assisted by Alfredson, and then Joe Nguendijk from Nicholas Avlid and Joe Thornton. It was 2 nothing after one. And then Sakic scored twice in the second period, tied it at two. And then we uh, traded goals in the third. Derek Morris scored from Yashin, uh, but then Sakic completed his hat trick with uh, two minutes and six seconds left to go in the third period from Milan Eduk and tied it at three. And that was our final score. Nobody scored in overtime. Uh oh. 
Bad news for Senators, Bill Guerin is injured with a sore thumb. Isn't there an expression with a sore thumb? You're sticking out like a sore thumb. Uh, he's only out for five days, so it is not the end of the world. Uh, Jose Kick had a hat trick. I know I was there. And Axie Yeshin extended his as a streak to eight games. All right, so we have a player on a nice little streak. Oh, Kevin Aller is available uh, on the waivers. I am not going to pick him up. All right, and there was a oh wow, that's a that's a pretty big trade here. So there was a trade between Buffalo and New Jersey. So Buffalo sent Alexander McGillney and Pat Lafontaine to the Devils for Bobby Alec and Sebastien Santomo. Now Santomo is a throw-in in there, but Bobby Alec is a two and a half star player. McGillney is still a two star player, and Lafontaine is still a two star player as well. So uh, that's an interesting trade. Uh, there's still some talent in those players. Ooh, Hulik is struggling. Definitely not having the kind of career that he had in real life. Uh, that is interesting. Interesting trade to me. All right, Rod Brennamore is back from suspension. Now, I bet that means the Devils don't trade with me because they probably took Eliash off of the trading block now. All right, we are going to be playing our next game in Dallas against the Stars. The Stars are 12, 12, and 3, so they are, they are playing for 500. We have not played them this year, so let's take a look at their lineup. No injuries. Milan Lichka and Marc Lamotte in net, that's not too strong. Joel Bouchard, Peter Buzek, Dave Manson, Patrick Boileau, Nick Boynton, and Blake Sloan on D. Yeah, that D. The D and the goaltending is downright awful. They have decent players up front. So Cor René Corbet, Ulf Dallin, Varlamov, Jonas Oglund. Tyler Book, John Sim, Johnson, Kapanen, Modano, Morgan, Carter, Ginla, Klatt, Lettinen, and Brendan Morrow. So they, they have a decent offense, but that goaltending and that D, oh, watch them beat us. That's usually what happens when I kind of make fun of another team. <laughs> and we lost to the one. All right. So we had Ryan Miller in net. They had Milan Nerichka. I forgot to say it before the game. Uh, let's see. We outshot them 28 to 24. Jerome Ginla was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Marianosa was the second star with an assist. And Mike Modano, third star with a goal. So the Stars took a 2 0 lead into the first. And we didn't score until the third period. Yashin scored on the power play from Marian Osa. Uh, there was still 5.59 to go in the game, but that was too little, too late. And Alexei Yashin's SS streak ended at 8 games because he only scored a goal. His point streak should be still going, though. To... Ooh! It was actually accepted. Oh, and Wade Redden is available on... I'm going to claim Wade Redden. All right. So... All right, so we are trading Joe Nguyendike and the rights to Antoine Vermette to the Devils for Patrick Eliash. There we go. All right. So now I don't have to make any changes to my lineup here because the rights are gone and um, Nguyen Dyke is gone, but Eliash is in. 
All right, so now I'm, let's see uh, what they do as far as uh, the lineup goes. So we are now going to be playing in Nashville against the Predators. The Predators are really struggling. They are 5, 18, and 4. We did win against them at home earlier, 3-1. to one. So let's see if we can repeat that on the road. Uh, so they're not going to be playing Detsuk or Thornton. And I know I could fix that by going and, you know, playing as GM and coach. But uh, the, that's the whole point is to not do that. Uh, not for this particular playthrough. All right, so... Yeah. All right, so Matt Cullen is now my second center. Maybe that's going to change. And they're playing Avlet and at center. Maybe that's going to change. Maybe it's just for one game or something. Let's see what happens here before I start, you know, being upset about it. Well, I'm not upset. I am I just think it's not ideal. But, you know, just think about it. A first line of Alex Yashin, Joe Thornton, and Pavel Datsyuk in real life would be pretty amazing. <laughs> so... It's hard to get too upset. All right, so Mike Dunham in net for us. Uh, Jeff Hackett in net for them. So we just lost against Dallas. We need a win here. And we won 4-3. Uh, Marianosa was the first star of the game with a hat trick. There you go. And then Yaroslav Zvezhkowski, a goal and an assist for Nashville. And Sheldon Sorry, third star, two assists. We outshot them 36-12. to So not a great game for Mike Dunham. He allowed... Uh, Three goals on 12 shots. Brian McCabe uh, opened the scoring on the power play. His fifth of the season from Joe Thornton. And then Marion Osa scored from Magnus Arvidsson and Derek Morris. It was 2 nothing, And then Radek Bank, whom I traded, uh, scored to make it 2-1 after 1. Then Osa scored his second goal of the game uh, in the second from Cullen and Sheldon. Sorry, it was 3-1 after 2. And then Nashville tied it, but Marianosa finished off his hat trick in the third, assisted by Sheldon Surrey. It was 4 3 for the Sens, and it stayed that way. So Patrick Aliage didn't get a point. Marianosa had a, had a great game. He had a hat trick. I know, I was there. It was in Nashville. I went to a pretty wild show last night. No, I didn't have the time. We were in Dallas. All right. Am I get, getting Wade Redden? I don't know. Oh, Tommy Shodin, former Ottawa Senator. He's 36 and just an alpha star now. So, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, Keith Primo is suspended in Boston. He's going to miss five games. Oh, I managed to claim Wade Redden. He's only a star and a half. Uh, in real life, Wade Redden had some ups and downs, and there's always been some rumors about some personal issues that played into what happened to him. And then, of course, he signed that huge contract with the Rangers, and everything just went down the toilet from there for him. Uh, but in Ottawa, he had some very interesting seasons. So, welcome home, Wade Redden. Uh, all right. I have to give a number to Patrick Aliash. I'm giving him number 15. Here, you can have number 5. Wade Redden is incensed. Uh, am I even keeping him up here? You know what? I don't like that you're incensed that you don't get the number you want when you're just uh, on the team, so I'm sending you down. All right, and we are back home to play the Tampa Bay Lightning. Bill Guerin is not injured anymore. All right, so let's play our rivalry game against the Lightning. Martin Brochu in net for the Lightning. I forgot to look at the Lightning's lineup. Can I still do it from here? No, I can't. I'm sorry. Uh, Tampa Bay is 18, 8, and 2 this season, so they are pretty good. Um, so Martin Brochu in net for them. Ryan Miller in net for us. 
and we won five nothing. All right, so we outshot them 55 to 16. Mike Selinger was the first star of the game with two assists. Alexi Yashin, second star with a goal and an assist. And Patrick Eliash, freshly acquired from the Devils, third star with a goal. All right, so we took a 3 nothing lead into the first. Andreas Dackel from Nick Avlid and Mike Selinger. And then Bill Guerin from Magnus Arvidsson and Martin Havlat. And then Patrick Eliash from Mike Selinger and Alexi Yashin. 3 nothing after one. Daniel Alfredson scored in the second from Marian Osa and Sheldon Sorry, 4 0 after two. Then Alexi Yashin from Joe Thornton, 5 0. The final score. Right, I guess we can look at the Tampa Bay Lightning lineup here. So Paul Marek, Pavel Kubina, Nicholas Wallin, Brad Lukovic, Jan Vopat, Bryce Salvador. Okay. That's that's not a that's not too bad for a D, but there's not really a Power play guy, Kubina, I guess, would be that guy. Benoit Brunet is still playing. He's still there. I guess Vincent Le Cavalier is hurt. Because I'm not seeing him in there. Surely he's not... Uh, surely he's not... Uh, scratched. Yeah, he's hurt. And Serge Aubin. Okay. All right, excellent passing leads to productive night for Martin Straka, who had a goal and four assists against Atlanta. Pretty good game. Barry Melrose might be fired in uh, LA. All right, and we are now going to play our next game in two days in Long Island against the Islanders. Wow, okay, so the rumor came out yesterday, and then today it is now official. Barry Melrose got canned by the Kings. So who did they get as a replacement coach? Walt Kyle. All right, and we are about to play the Islanders. Sergei Fedorov extends his goal streak to five games. He had a goal against Calgary. All right. So the Islanders, they are, they are struggling this year, probably because they traded Ray Ferraro. Uh, they are 8, 13, and 8, and they are 12th in the East. So we haven't played them so far this year. Let's take a look at their... So they have Sean Donovan, who's hurt. And they have Rafi Torres and Jason Blake. Both are suspended. Did, didn't they get suspended? Yeah, they got suspended in the same game, I remember. One game remaining for him. One game remain, remaining for him, too. All right, so. Uh, Roberto Luango, Rick Zipietro, Daryl Sidor, Dick Tarnstrom, Yuri Fisher, Matthias Timander, Eric Brewer, Vladimir Malakov, and Stefan Quintal. I think that that is okay. It's decent. Uh, goaltending is really strong. Then up front, they have a few good players. Namely, Zygmunt Palfi, Pierre Turgeon, Todd Bertuzzi. Yeah. They could surprise us. Yeah. Luango could have a, a really good game or something and stifle us, and that could be it. All right, so Ryan Miller in net for the Ottawa Senators, and he's going to face Rick DiPietro. Well, okay, Rick DiPietro could have a really good game. Oof. This is by far our biggest defeat of the season. We got trashed 7 to 2. We got outshot 41 to 26. So the team didn't show up for this game. I don't like it. 
Uh, Daryl Sidor was the first star of the game. He had a goal and three assists. Uh, Taylor Pyatt, a goal and two assists for the second star. And Eastman Knudsen, third star, two goals. Joe Thornton opened the scoring in the first from Mike Salinger and Pavel Datsyuk. And then Dick Tarnstrom tied the game. It was tied at one after one. A uh, bunch of penalties in the first as well. Then the Islanders scored four straight in the second period, made it 5-1 to one after two. And then they made it 7-1 to one in the third, and then Sheldon Sorry scored with a minute 24 to go, assisted by Yashin and Daniel Alfredson. It was 7-2, to two. not acceptable. And then Rafi Torres and Jason Blake are both back from suspension. Suspension for Phoenix's Keith Kitchak. Suspended for one game only. That must be his first um, his first suspension. Oh, and we are about to play Phoenix. Ben Clymer available. I am not going to pick him up. All right, so we are playing Phoenix, uh, apparently without Keith Kachuk, who just got suspended. Uh, Phoenix is eh, not doing too good. They are 12 and 18 and 0. So we haven't played them so far this year. Let's take a look at their lineup. So Boris Mironov is hurt, Phil Owsley is hurt, Alexei Zamnov is hurt, and Keith Kachuk is suspended. Wow, that's a lot of talent out of the lineup. All pretty decent player. There's uh, Nikolai Abibulin in net, Patrick Desrochers, Bezina, Radoslav Suchi, Derek Walser, Ossi Vananen, Darren Quint, Jason Doig. It's a decent team, but the D is weak, especially without uh, Miranov in there too, so... Yeah, the D is not very strong. That might be what's costing them games. All right, so they are not playing Thornton or Datsyuk on at center. It is what it is. Alain Vigneault turned the Flyers around this year uh, in Philadelphia in real life 2020. So I guess, you know, I can't really say anything. I guess he knows what he's doing. So Patrick Desrochers in net for Phoenix, and we're going to go with Ryan Miller. And we won 3-1. Yeah, it's been a kind of a rocky month so far. We haven't been dominating uh, as much as usual. Uh, we did dominate this game as far as shots go, 52-23. Uh, Marian Osa was the first star, he had two assists. Radoslav Suchi was the second star with an assist. And Pavel Datsuk was the third star with a goal. Uh, we had 12,784 people in attendance. Martin Avlat opened the scoring on the power play from Marian Osa. It was 1 0 after 1. And then Pavel Datsuk scored from Sheldon Sori and Mike Salinger. And then Sami Salo from Marian Osa and Patrick Eliash. Uh, to make it 3 0 Suns. Then Denny Briere scored for Phoenix, uh, assisted by Darren Quint and Radoslav Suchi. Made it 3 1, but it was too little, too late. And 3 1 was the final score. And Keith Kachuk is back from suspension. They could have used him in that game, I think. Suspension over for Jay Pandolfo. He is back in the lineup. And Rod Brennamore, who's just back a couple weeks ago from suspension, is suspended again. This time for four games. Uh, Ted Donato is not suspended is in Boston. Oh, and the Devils are making a lot of trades. So they made that big trade with Buffalo. Then they made that big trade with us. And now they made it. Looks like a smaller trade with Nashville. Uh, Ray Giroux and Timofey Shishkinov are going to New Jersey for Dean Sylvester and Ryan Flynn. Yeah, not a not as big a trade as they've been doing uh, earlier. 
Passes on point for Chad Kilger, who had four assists against Columbus. Pretty good. Chad Kilger playing in Anaheim. Yarmir Jagger extends his point streak to 12 games. He had an assist against Minnesota. All right, and we are now playing the Devils. The Devils are first in the East ahead of us. They are 22 and 8. Um, and they have won both games against us this season. So our first win here would be pretty good. Let's get Patrick Elias going. Uh, Martin Brother is going to be in net for New Jersey. Mike Dunham in net for us. And we won 43 in overtime. All right, finally a win against the Devils. Uh, we outshot them 56 to 19. Nicholas Avlid was the first star. He had a goal. Ray Giroux was the second star for New Jersey. He had an assist. Freshly acquired Ray Giroux. They just got him the day before. And Bill Guerin, third star, with a goal and an assist. We had 15,112 people in attendance. Uh, we took a 2 0 lead into the first. Uh, Alexi Yashin scored from. Daniel Alfredson, and then Mike Sellinger from Bill Guerin and Pavel Datsuk. It was 2 0 after one. And then Tony Amonti scored for New Jersey. And then Bill Guerin scored from Pavel Datsuk and Mike Sellinger, made it 3 to 1. Tony Amonti scored again, made it 3 to 2. Then we traded, uh, I mean, New Jersey scored in the third to tie it up. Uh, and then Nicholas Avlid played the hero in overtime from Alexi Yeshin and Daniel Alfredson, made it 4 to 3 for the Suns. Yay! Ooh, something I never thought I would see. Scotty Bowman might be running out of time in Pittsburgh as the coach. They might fire him. Yarmir Jagger extends his point streak to 13 games. He had two goals against Carolina. All right, and we are now playing in Carolina. Uh, Sergei Fedorov has achieved 300 goals in his career with a goal and two assists against Chicago. So good job for Sergei Fedorov. All right, we are playing in Carolina against the Hurricanes. They are 17, 17, and 2, and they are 7th in the East. We won both of our games against them so far this year. Right. We are going with Ryan Metter and they are going with Sean Burke. Whew, that was a nail biter. We won one nothing. Uh, we outshot them thirty nine to thirty two. Ryan Metter was the first star of the game. He had thirty two saves. Second star was Sean Burke with thirty eight saves, and then Mikael Nylander was the third star despite not getting any points. So the only goal of the game, game winner and everything, happened in the first period. Sheldon Surrey scored from Matt Cullen and Joe Thornton, and that was it. That's the entire scoring right there. Suspension over for Primo. Uh, so Keith Primo is back into the lineup. A good night for Brett Hall, who had four goals against Philadelphia. Wow. He scored the, all four goals for his team. Mark Ricky had a strong game in that same game against St. Louis. He had a hat trick, three goals. Wow, so LA just hired Walt Kyle uh, as a coach in LA like two weeks ago, and now he's in trouble already because apparently he lost his dressing room. Oh, wow, and now we are playing against LA at home. Ray Shepard has competed in a thousand games. So Ray Shepard playing for Detroit. Uh, he had a goal to celebrate too. That's nice. Yarmir Jagger extends his point streak to 14 games with two goals against Montreal.
All right, let's play the kings. The um, they are switching coaches, or at least they want to. Pretty bad. Oh, I forgot to look at them. Again. I'm bad. Well, we did uh, look at them in preseason, so I'm sorry. Uh, the kings are 11, 17, and six. So they are struggling. Byron Defo is going to be in net for Ellie. Ryan Miller is in net for us. And we won 6 to 4. Tougher uh, without uh, the great one anymore. Uh, Ellie did outshoot us 37 to 32 in that game. Joe Thornton was the first star. He had a goal and two assists. Robert Lang was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Alexi Yashin, third star with two goals. 14,027 people in attendance. So Marion also opened the scoring for, from Joe Thornton and Matt Cullen. And then the King scored three straight. And then Alexi Yashin scored on the power play. Assisted by Eliash and Garen before the end of the period, made it 3 2 Kings after one. And then Sean Van Allen for LA made it 4 2 for the Kings after uh, in the second period. And then Martin Havlat from Semi Salo and Magnus Arvidsson. And then Semi Salo from Martin Havlat and Andreas Dackel. It was tied at 4 after 2. And then in the third, we scored twice. Yashin from Osa and Joe Thornton. And Joe Thornton on the power play from Zdeno Shara. 6-4, your final score. Frederick Cassivy is available. I am not going to pick him up. I didn't resign him. Uh, dynamic passing leads to Productive Night for Pavel Buri, who had four assists against Nashville. Pretty good game. In that same game, no one could stop Daniel Sedin, who had a hat-trick three goals. Ooh, so the Sedin brothers are starting to get into shape. At least Daniel is two and a half stars now. Rod Brennamore, back from suspension. All right, so we are playing a lot of games still in December. Feels like I, I've had a lot of games going on. Uh, Darren McCarty is available i am not picking him up paul carry has recorded 300 goals in his career with a goal against phoenix 27 years old pretty good alexi kovalev is suspended he's gonna miss seven games that's gonna hurt the rangers yarmir jagger extends this point streak to 15 games with an assist against washington All right, now we are playing in New Jersey. Feels like we've been playing the Devils quite a quite a bit lately. Uh, as we know, we're one and two against them this year. I finally won in overtime against them, uh, like last week. Uh, they are twenty-two and eleven now, and uh, we have passed them in the standings with forty-eight points. We are now first in the East. So let's beat them. Mike Dunham in net for us against Martin Brother for the Devils. Ugh, the Devils beat us again, 3-1. to one. So hopefully we don't face them in the playoffs because we're struggling against them this year. We outshot them 42-30. to 30. Scott Gomez was the first star of the game with two assists. Daniel Alfredson, the second star with a goal. And Martin Brother, the third star... With 41 saves, 3-1 to one was the final score. Alfredson opened the scoring 6 seconds into the game, assisted by Eliash and Yashin. So it looked pretty promising for us. It was, I mean, 6 seconds in, we were already up one nothing, but then, you know, we didn't score again. And New Jersey scored 3 goals, and they ran away with the win, 3-1. to one. Todd Bertuzzi is suspended in Long Island. He's going to miss seven games. Yaromir Jagger extends his point streak to 16 games with three assists against Washington. And now we are play <laughs> playing at uh, the Madison Square Garden against the Rangers. 
Uh, the Rangers are 19, 17, and 2, and they are 7th in the East, so holding on to a playoff spot right now. Uh, we did lose the only game we played against them this year, 4-3, so let's get a win now. And Kovalev is not going to be playing, he's suspended. So Ryan Miller in net for the Sens, Mike Richter in net for the Rangers. And we won. 8-1. to one. Uh, We outshot them 39-27. to 27. Alexi Yashin was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Joe Thornton was the second star with three assists. And Daniel Alfredson was the third star with two goals and an assist. Uh, Mark Savard opened up the scoring for the Rangers. And then after that, it was all Ottawa Senators. So Marian Osa is 15th from Derek Morris and Joe Thornton. And then Pavel Datsyuk on the power play from Joe Thornton and Alexi Yashin. So it was 2-1 to one after 1. Then we scored four times in the second period. Alexi Yashin from Marian Osa and Sheldon Sorry. Daniel Alfredson from Andreas Dackel and Alexi Yashin. Sheldon Sorry from Joe Thornton. And Daniel Alfredson on the power play from Mike Sillinger. 6-1 to one after two. And then Datsuk scored his 10th of the season from Alfredson and Morris. And Patrick Eliash from Matt Cullen and Bill Guerin. 8-1 to one your final score. Right before Christmas, Rangers fans didn't get a win for Christmas. They got a shellacking. Ray Shepard extends his goal streak to five games. He did score a goal against Chicago. Good for him. Uh, Forsberg is suspended in Colorado. He's going to miss six games. Lots of good players are getting suspended this uh, season. Kika Chuck, Rod Brennan Moore... Uh, Kovalev, Forsberg, and I'm sure I'm forgetting some. All right, it is Christmas, Christmas Eve. I guess I could get Patrick Lebeau as a as a Christmas present for, to myself, but I I'm not gonna do that. All right, so no Christmas present this year. All right, we have four games left, so away home, away home. So first, we are playing in Boston against the Bruins. At the start of the month, we beat them 7-2 to two at home. And uh, it hasn't been going much better since for them. They are 10, 19, and 6, and they are 13th in the East. All right, we are going with Ryan Matter in net. Boston's going with Yevgeny Nabokov. And we won 7 to 1. So we won 7 to 2 the first game. And now we got we won 7 to 1 this one. Uh, we outshot them 36 to 21. Andreas Dackel was the first star. He had two goals. Mike Sillinger, the second star with two assists. And Pavel Datsyuk was the third star with two assists as well. So we took a very casual four-goal lead into the first. Uh, Sammy Salo from Mike Sellinger and Pavel Datsyuk. And then Bill Guerin scored his 15th from Mike Sellinger. So Bill Guerin had a few years where he didn't really produce for us, but uh, he's up to 15 goals this year. That's pretty good. Uh, Zdeno Shara scored from Datsyuk and Sheldon Surrey. And then Andreas Dackel from Chris Neal and Martin Avlat. I believe it is Chris Neal's first NHL point. Then uh, in the second period, Andreas Dackel scored from Joe Thornton and Zdeno Ocharo, made it 5 0. Then Jonathan Girard scored for Boston, made it 5 1 for us. Then Joe Thornton from Sheldon, sorry, 6 1 Sons. And finally in the third period, Alexei Yashin scored his 20th from Daniel Alfredson and Marian Osa. Joe Sakic extends his goal streak to five games. He had a goal and an assist against Dallas. Pretty good streak. And that was eight straight games with an assist. Yarmir Jagger has produced 1,200 points in his career with an assist against New Jersey. He's 29, still a five-star player. He's still going to be very good for a very long time. Yarmir Jagger extends his point streak to 17 games. Alexei Zamnov has a good game. Uh, he had a hat-trick three goals against the Kings. 
So again, Gunchar extends this point straight to 12 games. He had an assist against Philadelphia. No one could stop Mark Ricky, who had three goals and an assist against Washington. All right, so now we are hosting the New York Islanders. Uh, they did beat us that that shame uh, that shame loss that they gave us seven to two. So they've put us back in our place because that's usually us that win by that score. Uh, so they beat us seven to two in Long Island, but this time we're playing on our own eyes. So. Let's see what happens. The Islanders still struggling. 13, 14, and 8. Rick DiPietro is going to be in net for them. And Mike Dunham in net for us. Oh, God. We lost one nothing. So the Islanders have our number. And they outshot us 35 to 34 or 2. So that's twice that they outshoot us. That doesn't happen very often, and twice against the same team is pretty impressive. Uh, Rick DiPietro was the first star, he had 34 saves with the shutout. Uh, Nicholas Avlid was the second star with no point, and Pierre Turgeon was the third star with an assist. Uh, the entire scoring happened in the uh, second period. Zygmunt Poff, he scored, that was it, game winner. Magnus Arvidsson improves at center, why? You could have put Joe Thornton there. Oh well. Joe Sakic extends his goal streak to six games with a goal and two assists against Chicago. And that's nine straight games with an assist. No suspension for Carolina's Sasha Gotch. Not suspended. All right, two games left in December. We are playing in Pittsburgh first. Turmoil in Washington. New Rumara says Capitals dressing room. Trouble could cause ouster of uh, Paul Maurice. So Paul Maurice might be losing his job. Wouldn't be the first to lose his job in Washington. They've been terrible. Not just this year, they've been terrible since I started this series. Sergei Gunchar extends this point streak to 13 games. So he had an assist against Dallas. Oh, that's gonna suck for the Rangers. Brian Leach is hurt for three months with a torn abdominal muscle against San Jose. In that game, Mark Savard did have a good game, he had four assists. Ooh, Patrick Roy in Montreal has a minor injury, and he's 36 now. He's getting older. All right, we are playing in Pittsburgh with Scotty Bowman uh, on the verge of losing his job. That's kind of interesting. Uh, we're 2-0 against the Penguins this year, and they are 17, 14, and 6, and they are 10th in the East. They're not even in a, in a playoff spot right now. So let's beat on them while they're down. Ryan Miller. In that for the Suns, Trevor Kidd for the Pens. We won 4-2. Uh, we outshot them 32-22. Pat Patrick Eliash was the first star with a goal and two assists. Milan Kraft was the second star with a goal. And Joe Thornton was the third star with a goal and an assist. Uh, Actually, Pittsburgh took a 2-0 lead into the first, but we tied it up in the second period. Patrick Elias scored on the power play from Yashin and Bill Guerin. And then Derek Morris from Joe Thornton and Patrick Elias, 2-2 two -two after 2. Then Brian McCabe from Yashin and Osa. And Joe Thornton finished it off in an empty net, assisted by Patrick Elias, 4-2 the final score. Yaromir Jagr's point streak ended at 17 games. We held Yaromir Jagr scoreless. We are the ones who stopped his streak. All right, and in two days, we're back home on New Year's Eve to play against the Chicago Blackhawks. Joe Sekic extends his assist streak to 10 games with an assist against the Flyers. 
Ali Yukinen, now playing in Boston, uh, had a memorable game. He scored three goals, all the goals for his team against Tampa Bay. All right. Sergey Gonchar extends his point streak to 14 games with an assist against Carolina. Player poll results. Uh, the best skater, Phil Owsley of Phoenix, the, the veteran. He's 37 and he's considered the best skater. That's quite an honor. Artist shot, Rob Blake in LA. The smartest, Marion Osa in Ottawa. The toughest, Ty Domi with Columbus. The fastest, Sergei Fyodorov in Detroit. The best role model, Steve Eiserman in Detroit. The cleanest, Brad Richards in Tampa Bay. The toughest goalie to beat, Dominic Ashik in Buffalo. And the coach you'd most like to play for, Joel Quenville with the Minnesota Wild. So it looks like the Wild is well coached and the coach is well liked. All right, playing our last game in December against the Chicago Blackhawks. We are playing at home. Chicago is having a pretty decent season. They are 22, 15, and 5. We have not played them so far this year. So let's take a quick look. Ooh, they have a lot of injuries. Ethan Morrow is hurt for a while. Oh, yeah, I remember. Uh, Ken Sutton is hurt and DJ Smith is hurt as well all right so they don't have a lot of spares they're running with uh, just one spare player uh, so Ed Belfour in net Fred Brathwaite so that's I guess that's okay uh, on DDF they have Kent Huskins, uh, Steve McCarty is it John Gruden, I think? Yeah, John Gruden, Igor Kravchuk, Chris Chelios. TG, yeah, that D, aside from Chelios, that D is really not uh, too scary. Stefan Matto, Miller, Tensil, Hendrickson, Peterson, Arneson, Ronick, Scatcher, Nordstrom, Drury, Fitzgerald, Cleary, and Cal Calder. Yeah, that's not that great of a team. I'm not sure where their record is coming from. And they're going with Ed Bell for a net. We are going with Mike Dunham. And we won 4 to 1. And we outshot them 54 to 19. Marion Osa was the first star of the game with a goal and two assists. Matt Cullen, the second star with two assists. And Nick Avlid, third star with an assist. We had 14,938 people in attendance. We took a 2 0 lead into the first. Marion Osa from Sheldon Surrey and Mike Salinger, and then Sammy Salo from Matt Cullen and Marion Osa. It was 2 0 Sands after one. Dave Scatchard scored in the in the second period, made it 2 1, uh, but then we scored again twice in the third. Joe Thornton scored his 10th from Marion Osa and Matt Cullen, and Daniel Alfredson from Alexi Yashin and Nicholas Avlid. 4 1 Sands. Final score, final game of the month. And we are on January 1st, so this is where we're going to stop. Carol Pilash is suspended in Toronto. He's going to miss two games. All right. Uh, and, ooh, I think that's the first time Alexi Yashin is the player of the month uh, of December. And then Chris Osgood is the goaltender of the month in Detroit. Chris Osgood is what... 29 years old, three and a half stars. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, folks. So we are first in the East again with 56 points. That's 10 more than the Devils, although we did play two more games. What about the West? What does it look like in the West? So even if I have 56 points and I look really good, Detroit is always better than me. They, are, they have 64 points. Uh, points although they did play two more games than, than me all right so in the west we have detroit colorado anaheim chicago columbus edmonton vancouver and dallas so columbus is doing pretty good huh all 
All right, so now with the month that he had, I'm sure that uh, Alexi Yashin's stats are going to look pretty good. Oh, yeah, 51 points in 39 games. Daniel Alfredson has 40 points in 39 games. Osa, 36 and 37. Elias, 33 and 38, although most of them were with the Devils. 32 and 39 for Thornton. 32 and 37 for Garen. And then it starts to dwindle down. Uh, our best defenseman offensively is Sheldon Surrey. He's the resurgence of Sheldon Surrey, 25 points. Uh, sorry, 21 points. 25 points. God, I cannot read anymore. I'm just saying random numbers, hoping that I'm saying the right one. 12, 17, 93. Alright, so it's 25. 25 points. For Sheldon Surrey. And then McCabe, who was our best offensive defenseman for a while. Uh, he hasn't done much this uh, this month. Alright, and then in the league, what does it look like? Did Yashin climb that a little bit? Uh, not that much. So Kovalev is the best goal scorer. He has 30, and he's been suspended, so that's going to hurt him for keeping the lead there. Uh, the best passer is Matt Sundin with 37 assists. And for the points, Sakic has 60. And his first, Yashin, is 7th with 51. So Yashin is 9 points back of the lead for most points. That'd be so cool if I could win that. I don't think I ever won a scoring race with a player in all of my Sims ever. Not that I can remember. So that would be pretty cool. It would be a first for me. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and save the game. And, well, as usual, I want to thank you for tuning in. I know it had been a few days. Uh, my, my life changed a little bit. Uh, I just started a new job. So... Uh, I'm still going to be recording and everything, uh, but I don't have as much time as I used to. So uh, I will do my very best to keep the pace, but uh, we'll see. And well, uh, if you've liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe while YouTube still has likes because there's a bill that's been put up uh, to take that away. So while the likes are still there, if you want to help support me i'm not asking for anything uh, but a like is always appreciated and until i roll this game again uh, i will see you guys next time thank you